Hi, this is your host, Abhinav Bharti, and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us John Murtick, Director of Open Mainframe Project at the Linux Foundation. John, uh, the project is announcing its first virtual summit. Tell us a bit about it. So the first virtual summit is a unique opportunity to bring together the open source and mainframe worlds, which up to this point really have never been brought together. There's lots of events in the mainframe world, but having something that focuses on the growing open source ecosystem is a new thing. And uh, we're really excited to bring together open mainframe hosted projects, but also projects um, from around the community and around the ecosystem. And since it's a virtual event, which also has a lot of advantages over a physical event, and one of those advantages is that everyone can attend it from everywhere. You do not have to worry about traveling, getting visas, uh, going away from your family, and you can watch it <laughs> from the comfort of your living room or study. So since you are using this platform, virtual platform, what other benefits that you see it will bring to the attendees? The, the best part about it is, is you can uh, tailor the content and watch it at your leisure. I mean, one of the biggest challenges I always have when I'm in a pro conference in person is I never get to see a single talk. Um, now I get to see all of them and I can watch them in the evening, uh, you know, bring the whole family around the TV and watch mainframe talks. Um, you know, and at the same time, there's also great networking opportunities that naturally happen in the background. We're gonna have our Slack channels open, you can communicate with fellow attendees, other folks in the community, um, and really just get a cross section of folks that you may not have been able to meet at an in-person event, but are brought together by this virtual event. So it's it's kind of a unique experience. It sounds like you've done a couple of them as well, and I've really enjoyed them. Who would be the typical or target audience uh, for this event? At a high level, whoever has interest in open source um, on the mainframe, I think a lot of the content is going to be very much focused in the technical realm. So if you're uh, a mainframe customer, if, you if you're um, a vendor that has um, interest in the mainframe space and some of your technical staff really wants to see what's going on in the open source ecosystem, projects such as Zoe, Phalong, some of the work that's happening in the COBOL world, that's a great area. Um, but also, if you're an executive, we have an executive track, which is going to be really focusing on um, some higher level um, issues um, and just topics of that people are looking at as the mainframe carries forward in decades to come. And this new open source world is coming around it. What does that mean? So there's a great mix of different talks within there. Um, it's a great way to also just catch up on some of the projects that we're hosting at Open Mainframe Project. Um, you know, we have a, several new ones that we're going to be announcing, but then also updates from Phalong, Zoe, amongst others. Um, and one of my favorite talks is from Alex Kim at Viacom Infinity. Uh, he has a tool that he calls Viva, which is an Alexa for mainframe. And I was able to see it a few years ago. He actually carries around a briefcase with him with his Viva in it, and he will do a demo right there in the spot for you. Fortunately, you can't, I can't, you can't see that in person, but... In this virtual event, you're able to take advantage of it, and it's 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 a really cool and it's a really cool application of uh, technology and innovation on the mainframe. Can you also talk a bit about the content lineup? Like, will there be demos? Of course, there'll be keynote sessions. So, can you talk about that? So, we have an amazing set of keynoters. Um, everyone from Jim Zemlin um, of the Linux Foundation, um, you know, digging into the the larger broader ecosystem of uh, Linux Foundation projects and how it intersects the mainframe. Brian Bellendorf of Hyperledger and talking about how um, we're seeing more and more blockchain driven through the mainframe and, and where some of those connection points are. We have leaders within the mainframe world, Ross Mori of IBM, Greg Lotko of our Broadcom, amongst others that are you know, great thought leaders in the space um, and are really going to be digging into you know, some of the trends that they're seeing in mainframe and DevOps and open source and, um, and changing. Um, and also some other really interesting, we have Kate Stewart's going to be talking about, um, you know, open source standards and uh, compliance, which is, you know, for companies that are new coming to open source, which many in the mainframe world are, that's a really important topic for them to start to wrap their heads around. Um, as we get into the content through the conference, um, it's really just a unique mix of personal stories, people, you know, talking about how they're using this technology in their daily lives. Um, you know, some of the unique uses of the project, you know, such as the Viva example that I had before. Um, and then we also have um, a great women in tech panel, which is hosted by Jeannie Glass of, of uh, Virtual Z Computing. 
you know, she's going to be digging into observability um, in mainframe DevOps and has a great panel of other female leaders there as well. So it's a great mix of content. It's some really unique things. And I think there's a little bit for everybody who's in open source and mainframe. Thanks, John, for taking your time and talking about this event. And for those of you who want to attend the event, to register and learn more about it, please check the links below. Thanks for watching.